Hello! Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to talk about the difference between a bar graph and a histogram. And that is a frequent mistake that people make. They think that they're interchangeable and they're not. So why aren't they interchangeable? So let's remember what a bar graph is. So in the last couple of videos, we were talking about descriptive statistics for categorical data. And one of the descriptive statistics that we had was a graphical display called a bar graph. You can see that here. Now, a bar graph can represent one categorical variable, it can represent two categorical variables, but what you'll hear me saying is it's a categorical variable that it's representing. Now, people think because a bar graph has bars and a histogram has bars that they're the same thing, but they're not. So here is a bar graph and a histogram. Now, a couple of things that people usually say to me when I say, what's the difference between a bar graph and a histogram? And they'll say, well, in a histogram, the bars are touching, and in a bar graph, they're not. That's true. So this is a bar graph. This is a histogram. Here, the bars are not touching. Here, the bars are touching. But why? Why are the bars touching in this histogram and they're not touching up here in the bar graph? Is there anything else that you notice that's different? Now, you may notice that there's the word count on the bar graph and frequency on the histogram, but those are the same thing. Remember we talked about how frequency is a count or the number of individuals in a group? That's the same up here. So those are the same, but if you notice, what the difference is, is the axis. So here, this x-axis, what is represented on the x-axis? Categories. This is representing categorical data. This is a bar graph. Down here, though, if you notice on the x-axis, what's being represented? Numbers. So this is a histogram, and the x-axis is a number line. And the reason that those bars touch is because it makes sense for them to touch each other, because this is a continuous measurement. Those can be next to each other, and they'll be touching each other because the number line, or the x-axis on a histogram, is a number line. So the difference between a bar graph and a histogram is that a bar graph is for categorical data and a histogram is for quantitative data. And the easiest place for you all to be able to recognize which is which is by looking at the x-axis. For a bar graph, the x-axis is going to show you categories because it's representing categorical data. But the x-axis for a histogram is going to be representing numbers because it's for quantitative data. So, Hopefully you will never mistake the two again. A bar graph is for categorical data, and you can see that on the x-axis that has categories, whereas a histogram is for quantitative data, and you can see that on the x-axis that has quantities or numbers. So I hope that helps, and I'll see you in future videos.